Notes are one of the most valuable resources in Deep Broken. They're used in upgrading mantras, trading, upgrading your guild base, but most importantly for acquiring more bank slots. With the method I'll showcase in today's video, I am easily earning over 50,000 per hour, but the method can even go up to 80,000 per hour. And of course, this method is Farming Ferryman. The most optimal build for this method is a high damage gale build. Luckily, I recently showcased and progressed one, so if you too want to make a build as strong as mine, I'll have it linked at the end. Anyways, with a gale build that does a lot of damage, you can easily get through a ferryman every 30 to 40 seconds, leading to a lot of items per hour. To do this method, you must have a few things. Snake oil, obviously because if you're able to sell your items for more, that's going to result in a direct profit increase. The next thing is high carry load. This can be accomplished by using the pack mule boon or just picking up carry load talents. And the next thing is having the void walker origin. Just because being able to teleport back to the void eye can let you buy wood as well as sell items. If you don't have void walker, it's more efficient to do primadon for notes. Since you can sell your items between primadons and you don't need to be able to teleport back to the void eye. Primadon itself is about 30 to 40,000 notes per hour, which isn't bad, but this method is infinitely better. Alright, let's do a quick test. I'll be at the lowest possible carry load I can go for this, just so I can carry the most amount of loot. Alright, first ferryman down. Number two, three, four. Oh, there's a dead body. All right, and this is the final ferryman that we'll do because I'm at max carry load after this. The good thing about Void Eye is we can come back here after, so let's go see how much notes all of this is. Keep in mind this wasn't a perfect test, so you could easily get way more items way quicker than me if you get servers with good ping and people that actually break their campfires. Alright, selling our gems, sell our umbral and our wayward, and our final count is just under 12k notes. Alright, I'm gonna do the math on the notes per minute. Alright, I realized I forgot to sell this extra enchant. Alright, so after quickly doing the math, we are making a total of 857 notes per minute with Ferryman, as we made 12,000 notes in just under 14 minutes. So over the period of an hour, that's a total of 51,000 notes made, which is pretty insane for a method as consistent as this one. 51,000 notes per hour is more than enough to max out the deposit box in a singular day. While my test was perfect, as there were some servers where people did not break their campfires, I got a pretty good test, and this should hopefully show you just how good Ferryman was. There is a few other things you do need to take note of. Occasionally, you'll get into servers where there is someone else doing Ferryman there. You can either just log or wait for them to go in. And Ferryman farming has a few other uses, such as getting Storm's Eyes and stuff like Idol the Young Shoal and Smith's Alloys for your account. But that's a whole different video talking about that. Alright, but before we wrap it up here, I want to talk about Premadon briefly, because even though I believe Premadon in terms of raw note production is worse than Ferryman, he does have several key advantages, because the figure of 51,000 notes per hour isn't actually true. Well, in terms of how much I made it is, but you've got to keep in mind if you want to get bank slots or stuff for guild base, then you do need to sail off of Boatman's Watch to get it, which which can be inconvenient. Although it still does produce a lot of notes per hour, don't get me wrong. But Premanon is different, because it's actually more efficient to go up high on Monkey's Paw and spawn your guild base. You can do it at around this spot here, assuming that you're killing Premanon pretty fast, and you're able to make your way up to guild base before the timer for his respawn stops, then it's not hard to make a consistent 30,000 notes per hour. Again, while the raw notes of Ferryman is high, Primadon can give you better gear, and Primadon also accounts for travelling to guild base, since there's a hard limit on how 
much you can fight him. So what should you do, Fairyman or Primadon? Well it's really up to you. I believe that Fairyman in theory is better even if you do need to go to the guild base, but Primadon is probably the better option for you to do if you want gear, or if you don't have a void ITP. Anyways, these have been the two best methods in the game for farming notes. Fairyman, which can in theory produce well over 50,000 per hour, and Primadon, that can produce about 30,000 notes per hour while going to guild base and getting you good gear. So you decide which one is best for your build. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and check out some more content, and I'll see you all next time.